I owe my career as a cement mason and an OPCMI trainer, officer, and leader to one thing above all else, our world-class apprenticeship program. It was tough and demanding, but I learned the technical skills to perform the high-quality work our employers and my OPCMIA brothers and sisters count on. And I learned how to work safely, protecting my health and that of my coworkers. Thanks to our apprenticeship program, I had the privilege of building all the roads that are the thoroughfares through the city I grew up in, the runways at Mitchell International Airport, and many other key infrastructure projects. Today, when I drive on these roads or fly out of the airport, I say with pride, I built that. That's what my apprenticeship program did for me. I'm sure it's what your OPCMIA apprenticeship did for you. It also made me want to give back, which is why I became apprenticeship and training coordinator for my local. I was able to fulfill a lifelong dream, to teach and to inspire others with the passion I have for our crafts. But today, our gold standard apprenticeship programs are under threat. Everything our union has worked for in its proud 155 year history is at risk and we need you to take action. Here's the threat. The White House has proposed a new regulation that could open our profession to what they call industry recognized apprenticeship programs or IRAPs. That's just a fancy term for slipshod training on the cheap. It could weaken standards, increase the risk of unsafe work sites and substandard construction and send our trades on a race to the bottom. We cannot let this new plan cheapen what professional plasters and cement masons stand for. Outstanding safety records and magnificent construction projects built on schedule and on budget that stand the test of time. And guess what? This misguided IRAPS plan is being pushed by a small special interest group that represents only 15,000 anti-union contractors. We must keep IRAPS out of construction. We've come too far to let our government erode our accomplishments. Businesses and unions working together to build cost-effective infrastructure, world-class projects, and a strong economy. This is a no-holds-barred attack on our apprenticeships, our safety, our jobs, our union. And we need you to act now. General President Stepano, our union's leadership, and the entire building trades have succeeded in slowing down implementation of this proposal. But we must step up and build on that momentum. So contact your local and attend the next comment bank to write a statement to protect and keep OPCMA's outstanding apprenticeship programs in place. Please act now. The OPCMA's 155 years of excellence cannot be jeopardized by a short-sighted, thinly-veiled proposal that would shortcut training, threaten safety, and weaken construction standards. Please do your part to save our magnificent apprenticeship programs. Thank you.